Hi, Julian here. Zenit is the software solution from Sigma for calculating pressure and heat losses, as well as flow distributions in branched and meshed piping systems. First, a new project file is created. To do this, select New from the File menu. A dialog window opens in which the commission, the project name and the system name can be specified. This data is used to create and save the project file in the selected main folder. We leave the model dimension setting at 2D. After confirming, the project settings dialog opens. We change the unit of mass flow to tons per hour. Before the piping system is modeled, a pipe dimension is defined. The roughness value is determined by the choice of material and the finished process after manufacture or manually. No other parameters are defined as only a pressure loss calculation is carried out initially. Now you can see the main user interface of Zenets. The largest part is taken up by the canvas on which the piping system is modeled and displayed. The piping system is edited by selecting a function and then clicking on the canvas. All functions can be accessed via the menu bar and the most important ones via the toolbars. To model a pipeline, select the draw function. You can now click on the canvas to define the start and end point of the pipe. The pipe is drawn with the dimension selected in the drop-down menu. A snap ensures that a node always lies on the defined point grid. As the representation is not to scale, both the actual length of a section and the number of bends used must be entered. In addition, a valve is selected from the component menu and the manual zeta value of 2.2 is assigned to it. Common values with zeta values are already stored in the valve database. This can be expanded by the user. The boundary conditions are now defined. The initial node is subjected to a pressure of 5 bar and a mass flow of 250 tons per hour as well as a temperature of 20 degrees. The pressure loss and mass flow are to be calculated at the end node. The type of boundary condition is displayed graphically at each node in the system. Before the calculation is started, we check the specified medium. In this case, we want water. The system will now be calculated. Once the calculation has been completed and the warnings and errors have been checked, you can switch from input mode to result mode. The most important node results are displayed directly in the canvas. It can be seen that the pressure has decreased from 5 bar to 4.8 bar over the course of the pipeline. Double click on a node or a segment to display detailed results. A high profile can be created by editing individual nodes. As this is an input, you must switch to input mode. First an intermediate point is to be inserted, which is assigned a height of 10 meter as is the end node. The drawing area can be switched to a height profile view in order to carry out a graphical check. The calculation results show an expected higher pressure loss due to the height difference. The logic of the system should now be reversed. A pressure of 4.5 bar and a mass flow of 250 tons per hour is required at the outlet. What pressure and mass flow must be present at the beginning of the pipeline to fulfill these conditions? As it turns out, a pressure of 5.6 bar is required. 
And that's been it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.